Okay, a speedy Gonzalez overview about the new contract package for Node Red. It's called Node Red Contrib OPC UA Server. Uh, it's a really tiny node, but it's very powerful because you get access to the whole API of Node OPC UA. You get also access to all contexts of uh, Node Red and you get timeouts and intervals to play around with simulation inside the server or maybe to actualize um, some values inside the server directly. And um, yeah, let's see how it works. First, um, you have to install the yeah, manage palette here. You see a uh, node red contrib OPC UA server. And after the installation, you get this tiny node here. But every time when you go to example, boom, so here, you get a context server with this. Then you see uh, some um, time stamp inputs. It's just an uh, event. And you see here it's uh, changing by uh, random uh, some values inside uh, these context variables. You find the context variables here inside node red. See context and then you refresh this one here. Then you see also it's changing. Yeah? So, okay. And when we go here, you could also set up by a port, but uh, and we did not get any local um, discovery here because we are in hidden mode when we go to LDS mode. But you have to start a discovery server before. We have one here running from the IIoT package and deploy. You could also start some from Node OPC UA. It provides a local discovery server and it's also a very easy way to start a um, local discovery server here from uh, Node OPC UA. Okay, and with this we got some more here. It's um, registering, uh, registered. <laughs> to, uh, okay, and uh, yeah, when we select this here, connecting, grant, boom, that's it. That's our technical view of uh, the variables. We also got some logical view that's sometimes really uh, helpful for your users or customers uh, so that you make some logical um, views of your data. So sometimes much easier to control uh, which is to select and to use. And you see here, uh, this value is uh, changing a bit faster. And we see here, it's every time 500 milliseconds um <coughs> interval changing from 2 to 8 in the context here and inside the server you see in the other space um, changing here the interval it's also 500 milliseconds but it's directly in the variable uh, it's inside the same context as the sandbox and yeah, these values have to process from node red and coming to the sandbox also but mm, it takes a bit more time it's more latency here inside okay um, that's it. That's a tiny overview. Uh, I think you get an idea when you know the um, Node OPC API what to do here in the address space. You see um, discovery is working. You have also, uh, as known from the IIoT package, users, XML sets, security stuff. It's uh, also uh, set your own um, certificates, set the limits of um, your server and all this stuff. Uh, yeah, very new here. Please um, set up the product uh, URI every time with a um, unique name. Mm? It, uh, otherwise, it's, uh, not, it does not work with the uh, LDS uh, server. Okay, that's it. Have fun and happy wiring. <laughs>